George P. Bush tells GOP activists it's time to move past any lingering animosity from the primaries and get behind their party's presidential nominee, Donald Trump. Bush's surprising remarks top this edition of your Texas Political Roundup. You know what? It's time to Twitter to start. Until now, the Texas Land Commissioner had been one of the most prominent state elected officials withholding support for Trump. While Bush has not endorsed his father Jeb's former primary opponent, he told activists Saturday that they must help Trump defeat Hillary Clinton. Mil gracias, Austin. Hillary Clinton's running mate, Tim Kaine, visited Texas this week, including a stop in Austin to thank volunteers and fundraise. Texas is critically important. We, we always look at Texas and the Democratic family. The first time I, when I was Democratic Party chair, the first meeting we did, we brought it to Austin to show, hey, we're going we're gonna to go after Texas. And it's big and it's complicated and it's hard, but we're serious about this. There was 2018 election buzz this week that House Homeland Security Chairman Michael McCall could be interested in challenging Texas's junior senator, Ted Cruz. Cruz's refusal to endorse Trump at the GOP convention is fueling discussion about re-election prospects. A McCall spokesman said the Austin congressman is focused on winning his own re-election in November. Cruz is spending this week as part of Congress's August recess reconnecting with Texas voters at stops across the state. I'm Alana Rocha. Find all the latest politics and policy news right now online at texastribune.org.